guys, so I wanted to do an updated foundation routine. Technically, I don't really wear foundation every day in the summer, but um, the one that I have been reaching for the most and wearing is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. And since I've mentioned it to you guys that it was a favorite of mine, I've gotten a lot of questions on how to wear it, what I use, and if I could just do like a tutorial with it. And the other thing that I get loads of questions about is the Chanel Bronze Universal Tan Day Soleil. So I incorporated both of those into this um, video. And the other thing was I did a very, very simple eye look, but this is kind of the same. Well, it's exactly the same as the... Um, outfit of the day that I did recently with the one piece several outfits I got loads of requests to do a tutorial on it and you're not even gonna believe how simple it is so kinda wanted to just do like an updated foundation slash everyday quick you know go to eye look so I hope that you guys enjoy this if you wanna see how I did it then keep watching okay so I've already went ahead and um, laid down my moisturizer Next thing, I'm going to just use some face primer. This is totally optional. I normally don't use it, but this was a sample I got from Cora's, and um, I'm just kind of trying to use it up, so that's why I'm using it. But normally with this foundation that I'm going to use, you really don't need a primer. I feel like it has really good staying powder. Power. So I'm just going to blend this on my face. a really nice primer it doesn't really feel like most primers where it's like real silicone based and it's real slippery it almost just feels like a moisturizer okay so the foundation I'm using and the whole purpose for this tutorial is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua I'm in the color B40 beige this is just a sample um, like I said in previous videos, I don't think I'm going to purchase this only because I think it's a really good summer foundation because it's so sheer, not sheer, but it's very lightweight and, um, well, it kind of is sheer. It doesn't have like the best coverage and it's perfect for summer because it doesn't cover up your tan. It lo looks nice, but for the fall and winter, I like a more full coverage. Um, so you just want to shake it up really well, whether you have a sample or the full size. And I just get some on my finger and... I just kind of dab it so that I look like I have a weird skin disease going on. <laughs> and this is really nice because it is sheer, but it's completely buildable. So if you feel like you need more, you can always go back. Um, but I just go like that. And then this is the brush I was telling you guys about. It's the Sephora Platinum um, Airbrush number 55. And what I do then is I kind of stipple it, and this just kind of spreads out the foundation evenly. Um, that's in my hair. <laughs> and thank you for all of your feedback about how to clean this brush. You give, gave me several good um, recommendations, and I'm going to try all of them. So now I just go back and I blend, make sure it's really well blended. And you can already see how nicely it just evens out my face. But it doesn't give you that like full coverage caked on look. And it blends in effortlessly. Like you really don't need to do any work. Um, I just really like the feel of this brush. That's why I keep going at it. But um, I think it looks good. Okay, now you have the option to set this. You definitely do not need to. I'm not going to set it just because the less products I have on my face, the better. And like I said, you really don't need to. But definitely make sure that you bring it down on your neck so that you don't have any crazy foundation lines. Okay, next you want to take your concealer. I'm just going to take this Yves Saint Laurent number 2, the Touche Clot, and just go in the inner corner and down around. I take my ring finger and I just kind of push that into my skin and blend it. I don't really have dark circles under my eyes. This is just a nice brightening effect. And also I feel like even if you don't have dark circles under your eyes, putting concealer down here really makes a difference in how your eye makeup appears. It just really makes your eye makeup pop. No matter if you're doing a smoky eye, a neutral eye, it just really... Having this area down here clean and like bright, it just definitely helps out with your 
whole eyeshadow look. So that is that. Now again, you don't have to set this. Um, I'm not going to, but you definitely could take like Bare Minerals Well Rested or Benefits Powder Flash and set that under eye concealer. But I have found that I really don't need to and it doesn't crease on me throughout the day. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys in the tutorial is the famous Soleil Tan Day Chanel. This is the Bronze Universal that I rave about. Um, I get asked a lot how I apply this, so that's why I definitely wanted to tie it into this tutorial. I love the Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush for this. MAC makes the 168 that's identical. Um, and what I do is I kind of just pounce it around. I don't brush it back and forth because this is a nice product because it's very buildable. So you don't need to like get a whole bunch of it on there. Um, and then I kind of just buff it from the back contour line up front. Now, I definitely would not use this product as a contour. I like it more as like a sun kiss. You could definitely use this as a cheek color, but I always apply a cheek color with it. But you could just see how it just livens up and it gives you some dimension on your cheeks. And I even bring it in like all the way up here and over my nose and then I go this way. Um, I don't think this color is for everyone, and I've said this before, but I don't think it's a very good color for fair people, only because I feel like when I'm more pale, like when I'm not, when I don't have a tan, it looks almost orange on me, so I love it as a summer product when I have some kind of a nice base on my face, but it's not really a product I reach for in the summer, in the winter and fall. So I just buff it over my nose and cheekbones. Then I, of course, want to bring it up on my temples around my eyebrows to join it. I also go right at the top of my forehead. You really want to blend it into the hairline. If your bronzer is blended into your hairline, it will look a lot more natural if you can't see where the line starts and ends. And again, you could definitely keep building this up if you want more coverage, more of an uh, effect with it. but. I love this brush because it disperses the product evenly and I think that's why I had such a struggle with it at first. I was using really, really dense brushes and it was putting on way too much product, but I just think it gives you the most perfect base and glow with a more fluffy brush, which I wouldn't have thought to use, but I just tried it one day and I really, really liked it. Now I don't take this down on my chin or anything like that because like I said, I just kind of want it as like a facial bronzed look. I don't want it as a contour. If you did want to contour your face, you could definitely go back with a matte bronzer and do like around your cheekbones. You could even do your your contour lines a little bit better if you wanted to, but um, for me that's the perfect amount of coverage and color and it just looks natural. So now I would take my blush and I'm going to take the Chanel um, Joie Contrast in Rose Bronze number two. And I love, 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 love this color. See if you can see it. It's just a gorgeous rosy bronze color. And for blush brush, I'm just going to use this is a MAC 116. And this actually looks really nice with, um, with the bronzer. And I even pull this up on my cheekbones. I don't think you can do this with all blushes, but because this has like a nice little sheen, um, you can easily do it. But I start on the apples where I want the most color. And then you can pull it up. And you could even bring some down your nose. Now just to get away from all that powdery and matte base, I do like to use a highlighter. I'm going to just use my NARS Copacabana because I want to get rid of this. Um, so I just draw a line up and around my eyebrows like that cheekbone up and around like that like in a C shape and then I just blend it in this is a nice product I just don't think it's worth the hype I think there's a lot of great highlighters out there I really like Benefits High Beam I love the elf facial whip for a dollar um, they pretty much all do the same thing and then I take whatever's left on my finger and I just bring it down my nose so you can see it's nice sheen okay so now I'll zoom in and we'll go to the eyes because my face is pretty much done okay so 
first things first, I always lay down a base. This is the P2 um, Perfect Eyes base. This is from Germany, but you could use any base that you want. And I just always use this no matter what I'm doing on my eyes, even if it's just very simple makeup, because I don't want anything to crease or wear off or slip. Could even bring it in the inner corner. I'm going to put some color there. Okay. So now I'm going to take one of my favorite shadows. This is Bobbi Brown's Taupe. It's just a very light mid-tone brown. Almost has some gray contrast to it. And this is a Sigma E25. This is my favorite blending, blending slash multi-purpose brush of all times. So I'm just going to get some on the brush. And I simply... Oops. Just use this right in the socket just to give a nice dimension. It almost doesn't look like you have color on. I couldn't believe all the compliments I got on my video with the um, one outfit or one piece several outfits video. Everybody was like, could you please do a tutorial on your makeup? And I was like, I honestly was the simplest makeup ever. But I just wanted to show you guys it because it just goes to show you don't need to pile on loads of colors and products to get a really nice classy look. So depending on your skin color, this taupe might not be the best color for you. Um, another color I like to use is Max Wedge. Kind of gives the same effect. You could even use like a really pretty matte brown. The key is to definitely use a matte color. But you just want to go a little bit darker than your natural skin tone to just define that crease. And if you find it's too heavy, you could always take a blending brush and blend it out, but that's about even, and that's about as dark as I want it to go. Now for highlight in that video, I totally forgot to mention, but this is the P2 Pearl Dream eyeshadow. I was sent it from someone in Germany, sweet subscriber, and this was just the little highlight that I used, but really, um, you could use any color similar to this, Mac, Max Vanilla, Max Mylar, um, just any matte, you know, shimmery white color. And I'm just taking that on a fluffy brush, and I go right under my eyebrows and I kind of pull it out. This almost accentuates your eyebrows, just makes it look nice and sleek and clean. I don't go all the way under here, I just go kind of where the arch is and then bring it down. And then I get a little bit more and I just go right here just to brighten up that inner corner. I could do this with a pencil brush too but I just the less brushes I use the less brushes I have to clean. <laughs> So that is it for eyes and shadow. And the next thing and last thing I'm going to do for my eyes is just take some gel liner. This is Max Black Track Fluid Line. I absolutely love this. Um, I could never ever be without this. This is the Sigma E05 eyeliner brush. It's the perfect, perfect brush. And I know I've said this before, but people always ask how I get my eyeliner so perfect. And I blame it all on the brush. I think it's really important to use a good brush. So I'm going to just look in my mirror, but hopefully you can see, and I just do a thin line starting in the middle, work my way out, and you're just going to go really thin on that inner corner. I like it thin, you could definitely thicken it up, and I really don't do anything towards the end. I kind of just flick it, but I wouldn't even call it a wing. It just kind of accentuates that outer corner. Like that. And do the same on the other eye. Start at the end. It's always better to start at the end or the middle because you don't want to have a real thick line on the inside here. You want it to be more of like a gradual You could definitely go back and thicken it up if you wanted to. Or you could even darken it with another layer. 
but I just find that this brush does amazing things for gel liner. Just makes the application so smooth and easy. And I just feel like you can be really messy with it and it still works. Like you don't have to fuss with it. So that is that. Um, it's my eyes. And then last but not least, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes with my new, what do I want to call this? Ridiculous purchase. <laughs> um, Chanel eyelash curler. And I swear I only bought this because it's black and sleek and says Chanel on it. And I'm a sucker, but it definitely does do the job. And um, I would say that it's probably equal to the Shoe Umera eyelash curlers. I would compare them and say they're exactly the same. Um, one thing I will say, um, the Chanel opens a little bit more. And it's a little bit tougher, but that's just because I have had my Shoe Umera curlers since I started on YouTube because that was like one of my first big splurge purchases. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I keep an eyelash curler. I keep one in my purse. I have one in my vanity. I keep one at my desk at work. So, I mean, for me, I can never have enough eyelash curlers, but I'm definitely not encouraging you all to go out and buy the Chanel one because it does anything different than an e.l.f. one would do, but I'm just a sucker. Um, this is the Benefits The Real Mascara. Which I also happen to love. And I usually do about two, sometimes three layers. The big thing with this look, if you're going to not do any kind of shadow on your eye, um, the mascara really is the focal point because you want your lashes to look ridiculous. And that black um, liner will definitely help to accentuate your eyes. And I think that's actually why so many people said, you know, that they liked my eyes in that video. I really didn't do anything special. It's just the lashes and that black line. The black um, eyeliner. And then once you kind of have a base, you can take the tip of this and you can, you can lengthen them even more. Just go back over. Just be careful not to poke yourself in the eye. So that's one coat of the real go back and do another one I would recommend this mascara I think it's really really good I happen to really like the plastic comb applicators again take that little end that little ball at the end and pull your lashes out to the side and that will look make your lashes look even longer and it kind of accentuates with that little flick we did at the end that really the end of it the ball is really nice for the inner corner lashes too so that's two coats. I'm going to leave it there. And now finally I'm just going to use some mascara on my bottom lashes. This is the same one I've been using forever. It's the Clinique. Oh, I don't even know. The name's rubbed off. But I think it's, I think it's called the High Definition Mascara. And again, because we're leaving the bottom lash line completely clean looking with nothing on the waterline and no shadow underneath, you really want your lashes to be accentuated down here and this again just goes to show you don't need any white liner or anything like that on the bottom to really make your lashes pop on the bottom I think just really keeping those lashes on the bottom separated and having crazy mascara up top just I mean it really just makes your eyes stand out so that is the final look. I'm going to take down this little bobby pin so you can get a better feel. And then for my lipstick, what do I want to do with that? You know what? I'll use the same lipstick that I used in that video, which was Max Taupe. It's just a matte color. And I definitely think this is one color any skin tone can wear. 
I don't think it's a color for everyone. Meaning, I don't think it's a color a lot of people would see and be like, oh, that's so pretty, I want to go get it. Uh, but trust me, when next time you're in MAC, pick it up. It's so pretty and so wearable. Very nice, work-appropriate color. Very nice, everyday color. Um, and it is a matte, but it definitely doesn't feel as drying as, like, Myth from MAC or anything like that. You definitely could go over and put some gloss on top, but I kind of like the matte look. So I am just going to leave it like that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful um, as far as me being able to demo for you the um, Bronze Universal and the Chanel Aqua Vita, Vita Lumiere Aqua. I definitely would recommend both products. You know, you guys know it took me a long time to really like the Chanel bronzer, but I really, really love it now. But again, I don't think it's one of those products that is good to wear all year round, depending on your color. Like, I'm almost out of this, and I don't think I'm going to repurchase it until next summer because it's not a product I wear in the winter. I tend to go for the more powdery products in the fall and winter, whereas this is a nice summer product because you don't have to use a lot of powder on your face. But, um, I think it's a really unique product. And I heard Too Faced make something dupable for this, but I haven't looked into it. Um, and again, with the foundation, I think that it's um, a perfect foundation for people that want a very lightweight, sheer, light to medium coverage because it is buildable. It's definitely not a full coverage foundation, but I think it's the perfect summer foundation because it's just enough coverage to even everything out, but it's not going to cover up your tan or cover up your, you know, freckles that come out when you're tan or anything like that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.